Hello everyone, welcome back to Stud I. Today we are going to discuss the indirect technique of the tonometer. The indirect technique of tonometer involves the applination and indentation techniques. Today we are going to discuss about Short's tonometer that is based on the technique indentation which is the indirect method for the calculation of intraocular pressure of the eye. Right? So let's move on. So as I have told you that today we are going to discuss the indentation technique of the indirect method. So here you should know that you are measuring the intraocular pressure indirectly, right? So you are not actually measuring the intraocular pressure directly here, but rather you are using an external force for estimating approximate intraocular pressure. So indentation technique involves or it works on the principle that you have to press or you have to make a dent on the corneal surface. This technique is done with the help of the tonometer or the instrument which is known as Schwartz tonometer. So here as I have told you that Schwartz tonometer works on the principle of indentation that means you are going to press or you are going to make a dent on the corneal surface. But for this, there are some conditions. When a patient comes to you, you have to anesthetize his eyes, right? You have to add proper cane or any alkane eye drop in his eyes so that his eyes may be anesthetized. So he may not feel any pain because this is a bit painful procedure as you are going to touch the cornea. So when you are going to touch the cornea, patient may feel irritation or he may close the eye in response to the uh, because we know that the cornea has the highest nerve supply so there may be any sensitivity greater sensitivity he may close eyes in the reaction to the touch so that is why you have to anesthetize the eyes for less pain and other thing you have to do is that patient should be in the supine position so when the patient is anesthetized and his, he is in his supine position, you have to put the short tonometer or the tonometer, you have to uh, foot plate of the tonometer. You Here you can see on to the surface of cornea and then it will give the reading. But before moving into the procedure and other things, we should know that what is actually the principle. As you will know that when you are pressing something, Either the thing is very soft, so it presses very easily. Either the thing is very hard and it doesn't pre press easily. So here you should know this principle. When you are going to touch the foot plate of the short stonometer on the patient's cornea, if it presses more, it means that eye is soft. And if it doesn't presses more, it means that eye is hard. So the principle was to press the cornea. So the principle states that soft eye presses more as compared to the hard eye. Anything that is soft will press easily while anything is that is hard will press less. So here if you have put the less weight in the tonometer and eye presses more or it presses easily so it will give you the low reading. It means that patient's IOP is less. I am not sorry I am not telling you about reading. I'm just right now telling you that what will be the state of the IOP in that patient. So when you have put the less weight and it presses more, it means that eye is soft and their IOP is low. Now if you have placed the low weight in the tonometer and there is no effect on patient's eye, like I have told you that hard eye will not have effect of less power or any hard thing that does not moves or presses easily so if a hard thing does not press easily it means there is some more there is more uh, power in it so here you can say that when the IOP is high the eye becomes hard and there is no effect of less weight on it right so this is a basically whole principle on which the short tonometer work and this is the indentation technique of the tonometer so here what are the parts of short tonometer here you can see it is a foot plate that actually rests on the cornea the finger rest is the 
point where you have to place your finger to hold the instrument this is a plunger or the plunger in any thing you can say so this plunger helps or moves freely in a socket so it moves freely over here when you touch the cornea it will move right when it will move it will give the indications or signals to the liver arm when it will move it will cause the movement in the liver arm also this liver arm will is attached to a needle it will give uh, you know it, this needle will move there will be movement when there will be any movement in the liver arm the needle will also move when, and here is a scale so it will move on any of the it can move on any of the scale reading and you will just note it so here one thing is that this this weight you can see in the plunger is actually a fixed weight which is 5.5 gram so this 5.5 gram weight is fixed in it in the plunger and when we rest it on the cornea uh, the foot plate on the corneal surface if the eye is soft with this 5.5 gram it will press very easily but if the eye is hard it will not press and there will be no reading or then there will be no change in the reading there may be very less change in the reading right so this is the important here you can see that there are additional weights that which are of 7.5 and 10 grams these are used when the eye is hard and there is no changes on the scale reading then you have to add more weight in order to measure the intraocular pressure of the eye so here i have said you that if patient okay there is some more important thing that here you can see the readings on the scale so if the reading is uh, 5 or, or less than 5 or it can be actually 4 or less than 4 so you need to measure or you need to add more weights right because why it is reading is less i have told you the needle is over here and if the eye will be hard jab eye hard hogi there will be no effect over on this needle so you have to use these additional weights in order to measure the intraocular pressure exactly of the patient's eye right okay now if the reading is 5 point or with 5.5 gram is less than 3 or 3 then you have to add the additional weights i have told you the scale reading with that weight is then matched with the table that shorts has introduced to get in shock pressure so here is something important your end point is not just the scale reading right so here if you get the reading 5 or 4 you just need to note it and you have to see that which weight is over here then you have there is a table that shorts have introduced for us in order to measure the intraocular pressure that is why we are saying that is it is an indirect method where you are measuring the intraocular pressure so here you can see these are the scale readings it they are 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and the reason they have said that you if you got the reading less than 3 you need to add more weights because there is no more intraocular pressure estimation less than 3 reading on the scale so that is why you should uh, if the reading is coming below 3 you should or you need to add more weights right so now one more thing is that you can see here are three different weights 5.5 7.5 and 10 gram and these are the list of the intraocular pressure in the millimeter of mercury so you which this is the table that shorts have given us for the evaluation or the measurement of the intraocular pressure so if the reading is 3 on the scale you get the reading 3 and the weight is suppose 7.5 gram so you need to tally the readings from the this table and you can see here is the reading 35.8 gram so this means that the patient's iop is 35.8 gram so this is how you can measure any the intraocular pressure by the indentation method or the short stonometer so one important thing is that the higher the scale reading lower will be the pressure this is very important thing that here you need to understand that when the foot plate touches the cornea and indents more the indentation more indentation will 
tell you that i is soft the movement in the plunger will be occur and this will lead to the movement in the liver arm and the needle will move and will move towards the right side when the needle will move toward the right over here suppose 20 it means that value is high on the scale but the pressure inside the eye is very low that is why the eye indents more so higher the scale reading lower is the pressure why is it so because more indentation is the will lead to the more reading on the scale and thus more indentation means a soft eye and soft eye is the low iop next is and here in the table you can also see that if the scale reading is 10 the indentation is more that is why the reading is 10 and intraocular pressure is very low it is 7.1 millimeter of mercury so less indentation will give you the less reading because the eye was hard i didn't uh, i was hard i didn't indent on the less weight or it doesn't indent more this will tell you that this is the eye is very hard and the iop is very high so there will be no movement in this needle and it is it will be on the less reading this will this means that iop is high so here you can see the readings on the table in the lower scale reading iop is very high in the larger greater scale reading the iop is very low so higher the scale reading the lower is the iop so this is all about short stonometer in case of any query comment in comment section thank you so much